many influencers in my artistic life. People like Toulouse Lautrec, Egon Schiele, Klimt, Edward Borden. They all urge me to get a sketchbook out and really give me the energy and passion to draw. I think what's fascinating about these people is that they're able to put together an image maybe from one line and it gives me the commitment to really fulfil that goal and try and my best to put a story together in one image. The idea of doing a small sketch of the big canvas is to start looking at the colours and how the proportions are. I've got an obsession with lines. I have since I was very young. And whether I should add something more to it, more pattern, more colour, more paint, whether I should use a different medium over the top. And I'm trying to come to sort of those solutions now uh, through the, the preparatory drawing to work on the big piece today. And I think I'll do some, some more paint. Sketches and sketchbooks are really important to my work and having something to refer to time and time again uh, brings new images to life. So for instance, this was a sketchbook for um, a cookery book and this produced this really popular print which is called Crack. Uh, this was a tiny sketch of a deer which produced this print combined with this image for a Christmas exhibition. And this sketch, for instance, of another reindeer, produced this card, which is one of the most popular this year. And these kind of sketches for kitchen food produce cards and prints also. Dogs, animals, nature, celebration, cakes, dancing are all really popular commercial images. My art itself is made up of different mixed mediums, so ink, paint, washers. I make big paintings, I might rip them up, make them into collages. Whatever I do, I want to still keep that liveliness and uh, show the passion really that comes through in making those images. My life experiences make my art interesting. I've been a chef, I've had children, I've worked in marketing, uh, HR with people. I think that makes up a great body of work that makes it commercial. Humour is really important, especially for commercial work, but I have a great sense of fun and I want that to come through in my work and I think people can relate to that and that's why that piece of work becomes really saleable. In preparing for my exhibition at the Gibbard House in the Gibbard Gardens Harlow, I took a lot of images from an inspiration from the garden with the sculptures. This was one of the sculptures, the bull, and the stretching lady, she was a popular image. Hi. And so was Connected, which was the lady with her baby. What are they going to think? even though deep down you tell yourself that it doesn't matter because you're making the work because you believe in it and you're committed. It's a, a mixture of feelings doing something like an exhibition, quite terrifying, but at the same time a sense of pride that people are embracing your work and um, appreciate your work. And I was really fortunate that I was able to spend quite a lot of time there in the summer drawing and sketching. And the material that I ended up with was interpretations of the sculptures for the final exhibition. And I think people appreciated the sensitive interpretation that I made and that's why it was such a successful exhibition. I'm a bit of a natural nurturer and uh, it's important to me to support people, whether it be friends, family, people who just come and talk to me about art really. And I think if you've got perceived barriers, um, perceived or physical barriers, stopping you from doing your art, um, it's important to find a way through. And if I can 
inspire someone through what I've done in my life up to where I am in my career to have a go, then I'd really say have a go.